midnight madness at the rat. This is it, well, I land my hat. No more delaying, we're ready to start. Come on, let me hear that R. Let's thank Bell and RBC. Don't forget Visa Bulgari. So if you catch my drift, on with the show, this is Tiff. This midnight's not to miss. From A24, this is Dex, the musical. Oh! I landed in the rehearsal. There's video proof. Welcome to the Toronto International Film Festival. And welcome to Midnight Madness. My name is Peter Gablowski. I will be your host for 10 Midnights. This is just the beginning. Thank you so much for coming. There's so much outrageous movies in store for you. A reminder too, uh, the, the sponsors I did not thank in my song were <laughs> the government supporters, the government of Ontario, Telephone Canada, and the city of Toronto. And I'd also like uh, to acknowledge that this film is not just eligible for the People's Choice Award, but also the People's Choice Midnight Madness Award. You have that power. Vote at tiff.net slash vote. Now before I continue, I have to say something. These screenings are so important to me. I know they're important to you. Um, because this is such an amazing community, and I have to just acknowledge that we lost people in this community this year, and I have to say this, I have to say their names, because they made this festival, and they made this community. I have to acknowledge my dear friends, Ravi Surinvasan, Ray Nishimura, Harvey Lalonde, and Noah Cowan, who inaugurated and started Midnight Madness. We wouldn't be here, and I want to encourage all of you, before the movie starts, or even right now, let's make this church. Turn to the person next to you. If you don't know them, learn their name. We're all family here. Every night we are enjoying incredible cinema, and I am so excited that the first film we're all gonna watch together is a film where love is love, and dicks are dicks! Dicks the musical! So please, put your hand together for the creators of this opus, Aaron Jackson and Josh Sharp! And surprise, Bowen Yang! And also Bowen Yang! Yang is in the house! God himself Hi. has come to Toronto! What's up, perverts? <laughs> Why y'all up so late? Yeah, you naughty kid. You should be in bed with your beautiful wife. <laughs> um, wow. Hi, thank you. Thank you for having us, Tiff. Um, thank you, Toronto. Yes. Thank you, just to say it, thank you, SAG. We didn't know we could be here until yesterday morning. Um, <laughs> a crazy 36 hours. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for A24 for making a fucking deal that a, you know, trillion dollar tech company won't. So, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, give it up. Um, we're very excited to be here. This um, movie started as a two-person show that we would do in the basement of a grocery store in New York City. <laughs> so we're and now we're above ground. <laughs> yeah, we're above ground. Yeah, it's a big improvement. Um, Larry Charles, our director. Exactly. He couldn't be here tonight, um, but he he sent a message he wanted us to read. So. I'm gonna read that to you, if that's okay, <laughs> from my broken phone. <laughs> okay, this is Larry. <laughs> I've had many experiences making movies. Some great, some amazing, some horrific, some really horrific, but none as joyous and as fun as the experience of making Dicks the Musical. Josh and Aaron <laughs> have written something- Daddy, daddy. <laughs> daddy, have written something singular. You can call it a musical, you can call it a comedy, but it's so much more. It defies description, it transcends genres, and our collaboration through the entire process was nothing less than exhilarating. So as you can imagine, it is with a heavy heart that I am unable to be there with you to celebrate. I've never felt so proud of a work of mine. So if you're in the mood to freak out at a movie, <laughs> if you're in the mood to party with a movie, if you're in the mood to scream and laugh and clap with a movie. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Welcome to the most anti-AI, pro-human movie of the 21st century. Yes! 
Dick's the musical, thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you. This is a honest to God fucking dream for us. Yes. So thank you and um, enjoy, enjoy the movie. Enjoy. <laughs> enjoy. Yeah. Turn off your phones and enjoy Bye. Dick's the musical. Life is a Q&A, my friend. Welcome, Aaron Jackson, Josh Sharp, and His Holiness, Moen Yang! Hi. Hello. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> Get up! Wow. And a big shout out to Forte, our choir! Yeah! yeah. Thank you! Amazing. That was... <laughs> oh my god. Into the penis balloons. <laughs> Bring some Beautiful. of those penises up here, come on. <laughs> All right, uh, while you guys think of some questions, collect some questions in your mind, you'll get to ask them soon. I'm gonna start, I love that little clip at the end that just shows the humble beginnings of where this show came from. <laughs> Can you describe uh, briefly just the evolution of uh, this musical and how it started and how, yeah, you, it was, how, how did you convince A24? It sure. was, yeah, it was a two-man show we did in the basement of a Gristides, yes. and that's the normal pipeline to A24 movie. Yeah. Right. So we sort of always knew. That's where her Hereditary started. Hereditary too. was also a black box theater show. Mm -hmm. um, no, I mean we just did it honestly for ourselves and uh, <laughs> didn't think anyone would watch or ever care. And so it's sort of wild to us that it is now this and has um, yeah. legends in it. So yeah. Speaking of legends, can you talk about how they got involved? What was the pitch? What was the God, uh, <laughs> what was it like those first days working with them? Well, working with them was amazing. It, it, you know, it's just a, a bizarre casting miracle where we sent them the we sent them the video of the stage show and the script, and they all said yes. <laughs> <laughs> so bless their hearts. And Bowen's like one of our oldest friends. Yes, who, like, we've known Bowen. We, we all, you know, when we were doing the stage show, we're friends. So yeah, yeah. I, I saw the show multiple times. It became this sort of like reference point of a show, like in holding, a uh, holding and holding a huge cock. <laughs> White penis. Yeah. Um, but, um, circumcised. Circumcised. Too. In uh, Canada, no less. In Canada, no less. Uh, it, 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 was, it was just, um, it was like this gathering where like all the queer comedians and just like non-comedians would go. And then afterwards, Josh and Aaron would just would say we're hosting a talk back at a bar around the corner <laughs> but it was just it was just like their funny way of saying like let's all hang out after and that was where i feel like i've harped on this a lot with them but it, it was the beginnings of like a queer comedy community in new york that like never existed before so it, they really did like build that from the ground up with the you're show you're too nice it's true it's, <laughs> true. Yeah, it's true but you know. we really would go upstairs before every show and buy 79 cent ham from gristides yes. And then fold it up in a ziplock bag into a and make rose, it pussy. and that was the pussy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So also, ham is a big part of this. Yeah, <laughs> ham is <laughs> integral to this. <laughs> yeah. What, what was that, like that uh, directing, or I guess I guess if you could speak to, we can overhear in the in the end credits, Larry, mm -hmm. Larry uh, directing Nathan to yeah. spit that oh, ham. And we had to do that twice, and it was always like so late after midnight because they had to turn the cameras around to go through the cage. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you leave a few moments too where you're breaking character. Oh, what yeah. inspired that? I think Larry, Larry from the very yeah. beginning, because he saw us do this two-man show from years ago on like a shitty video and was like, the movie has to feel like that. You have to feel like you're in the room and it's live and it's happening for you for the first time, you know? So we didn't know shooting it he was gonna keep that, but <laughs> <laughs> then later saw the cut and he's like, I kept a couple times when you broke for fun. <laughs> yeah. And um, I'd love to know about, like, were, were all the songs from the original show, how many were written for the film? What, what was that process? There were, like, like five yeah. songs in the original show, and then there's 12 in this, basically. So, so two more we wrote. Yeah, so that's <laughs> two more. I, I know that the... the we actually uh, wrote two the, less. The composer, I believe, one of the composers is... In yes, the, yes, yes, Carl, Carl St. Louis, Louis is here. Take a bow. Who composed the music. <laughs> Woo! And you see him, he plays the, the piano. piano. Yes, and yes. Carl's the one playing the piano in that fabulous Moo Moo in La Chateau. Yeah. Um, and also Marius de Vries, who is a legend, legend himself. And music produced, and also wrote Out Alpha with us. Yes. And there's like tons of um, people here. I mean, I don't know if we can even say it all, but can we give credit? To yeah, 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 please, please. I, I mean, anyone who did anything, just like stand, stand up. up and yeah, like yes. a clap the movie. Cooperman's, the please. choreographers yeah. are the here. choreographer, yeah. <laughs> Michelle Lawler, the, the DP Cooperman, is here. The DP. 
VFX is here. I met the, I had never met the man who animated that pussy the until pussy. just today at Hooters. <laughs> 824 through our pre-show at Hooters, of yes. course. And so, yeah. Felt appropriate. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was, I mean, Larry, who, again, as we said, we didn't know we could be here until yesterday. Right. So we were able to be here, even though we're by far and away the most famous. And um, <laughs> You will be. <laughs> no, no. But um, everyone else uh, says hi, and Larry, of course, was like, says hi. And um, <laughs> it was just like an honor to work with him, because from I the very know. beginning, I felt like he got the DNA of this thing. And he was fiercely defenseless, defenseless? defensive of it the whole time. Um, were there any oh surprises God. through the process? How, you know, you lived with the show for so that long. That it got made. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes the whole Fair. thing was a constant surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I love those posters, by the way, those, uh, the musical oh, posters. Yeah. Can you speak a little bit to those, uh, writing those gags? We would, Larry would be like, every detail needs to be a joke. <laughs> so yeah. we would be in, in his office, you know, thinking of thousands of names for um, fake plays. Yeah. Yeah. Jeffrey, what, what what did you do? That's a Larry one. Jeffrey, what, that, <laughs> I have an Larry. idea for one. It's <laughs> Jeffrey. Epstein. It's Jeffrey Epstein in profile, and it says, "Jeffrey, what have you done?" <laughs> also, and we're like, "Okay, Larry." <laughs> Sure. In one of the shots, you can't really see, but we, we walk by all these shops, and um, he also came up with Robert Moses Pizzeria, which is a New York really City yeah. joke. It says, it used to be low-income housing, you know? <laughs> yeah. So there's like a lot of that Pervert records. everywhere. But yeah. that was big, Larry, because we would have these, we shot this movie in 20 days, like yes. mostly did two takes. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> so every day was like insane, and yet he'd be like, I got to block out an hour and a half with the boys to think of funny jokes for the background. Yeah. And he'd be like, yeah. there's a lot of shit going on. <laughs> <laughs> so the sewer boys, let's talk about the sewer boys let's before we throw it into the audience. <laughs> they walked the carpet. The sewer boys they did walk the carpet, the carpet. <laughs> check Getty, Getty Image. Tomorrow yeah. you'll see all they're they're they walked the carpet. They're not, they're not sag, they're yeah. not scabbing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're covered in well, scabs. They, they cut, yes, <laughs> they're covered in <laughs> scabs, yeah. Uh, um, but uh, who designed those? Were those original elements from the... From the show? Yeah, they weren't in the show, but they were mentioned. Yeah. Um, but we could, you know, we did it for zero dollars, so we could negative afford money. Them. Honestly, negative, yeah, seventy nine cents a the show. All that ham. Um. Um, but uh, then, yeah, they they um, kept growing and evolving. And, <laughs> and that was another thing Larry always got. Where we we always wanted them puppets because we wanted them tactile. People would also, always be like, love... "Does Harris, the Nathan Lane character, does he fuck them?" And we're like, "No, no, no, he doesn't fuck them. They're his children. They're <laughs> monsters. They, we're like, they exist." There's this old yourself. gay man in Chelsea. They have these fancy dogs. They care about him more than anything. It's like that, but it's a gross little gremlin. Why don't you get it? <laughs> you know, everybody's like, it? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> Where um, do their names come from? Whisper and Knapsack. Backpack, backpack, backpack and, and Whisper. Backpack. Backpack. Um, um, that's just clearly their name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you look at them and you know one is Backpack, yeah. Blue Eyes, and the other is Whisper. Oh, Green yeah. Eyes. Yeah. I actually got it confused, like the twins. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's move on to questions from the audience, if there are any. Um, <laughs> yeah, right there. Wave in the hand. Wow. Get up. <laughs> Take the Stand moment. up and be counted! <laughs> <laughs> Question. <laughs> was there a point, the, the question for the people in the balcony, was there a point in the filming process where, have we gone too far? <laughs> no, in fact, that was a big Larry thing to be like, go further. Yeah. Larry yep. pitched the sex scene. We were like, they don't fuck. He's like, no, they fuck. And then they we, fuck. We, we wrote it, and he was like, this is not it. We wrote it again, and he was like, this is not it. And he was like, I'll tell you beat by beat what happens. <laughs> and it was like in his head, you know? So, so I feel yeah. like the opposite happened, that it sort of felt it was, like uh, yeah, it's a it naughty a little train. trio of people, yeah. But and also I get that it's very, like, you know, offensive, which we know. But to us, it's always been, like, that coming from a place of absurdity and right. Dadaist and just like throw a bunch of shit at the wall, you know? Yeah. So when things were outrageous, we were like, you got to do it. <laughs> there was a moment when we were shooting the final scene when we were singing, doing take after take of God as a faggot. <laughs> oh, yeah. And where, where Megan Mullally went over to the boys and said, you guys are going to get death threats. And then, <laughs> and then she said, and then she took a beat and she was like, we're all gonna get death. <laughs> it, was, it was like it had occurred to her for the first time. <laughs> also, I, that was the first day we all shot together. Yes. Yeah. It was God like, hi, Nathan Lane, Tony Winner, yeah. Megan. All right, God is a faggot from the top. <laughs> yeah. It was very wild from to the throw top. them into the fire. Uh, yeah. Uh, right there. <laughs> what, what was the most challenging music, musical oh. number to perform? 
or they were. I mean, again, we did it in 20 days. So <laughs> yeah. every and we sung a well, we like, sung a we lot, sung lot live. ours live, and yeah. then you'd have like two takes and be like, "Let's hope she works." Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Um, um, what was the most challenging? I, I, I mean, all of them. All of them. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, kudos again to Marius and Fiora, yes. his associate, who like made these crazy. We just didn't have enough time to do this, and they were like, "We'll make it work." So it, we always felt the dancers good hands. are dancing to uh, like just the like a metronome because you can't have the music with the sound, but we have little sound you know things in our ears. So it, 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 th those were all pretty wild. Those yeah, anything with lots of dancing and sung live, <laughs> which was half the movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But luckily, we got that extra take. So, <laughs> yeah, look, we did two takes. <laughs> uh, right in the balcony. Yeah. Did you still talk about what the characters about any of this? My dad's here. <laughs> His dad's here. Yeah, my dad's here. <laughs> Go off, pops. <laughs> um, they're glad we're employed. I they're think. glad. Yeah, they're glad we're living our dreams. Yeah, yeah. And my parents will never see this. <laughs> I'll make sure of that. I'll make sure of <laughs> I'll that. I'll make sure. In the balcony again, right there. When are we We're getting, getting the, the sequel? sequel. <laughs> Call A24. <Yeah. laughs> Listen, Call go on Letterboxd, cool. review this movie, talk about this movie. What's the release date again? September, September 29th. 29th. September so like, 29th. So make sure you see this film. Uh, are we going to get a soundtrack? Yes. yes. It, are we allowed to say when it comes out, A24? Great. It comes out the next week, October 5th. Terrific. Woo! Oh, I think we have vinyl. time for just a few more uh, right there. Let's talk about Megan Thee Stallion. Was that written for? The no. She was. <laughs> right? <laughs> and she is like the best, She's like the nicest, so most cool. fun. Like, it, it's crazy. We had the, the boss character written, and then that song was just sort of like placeholder for whoever we could get. And that was like our number, of course. We're like, well, Megan the Stallion, she'll never say yes. And then she did, and we're like, fuck, now we have to write this. And then we wrote it as a <laughs> Megan the Stallion song. And so, I remember one, yeah. or you go, you go. No, you go. so it was written for her, but and it, and it definitely, we found out we had her. And I mean, she is like a, she is so brilliant. She's a brilliant improviser. And so like, you know, she definitely put her own take on the role and um, sex. But there was like a non-Megan the Stallion version of the song. And then when she said yes, we were like, okay, we got to turn it into that. <laughs> yeah. And so we wrote this thing. We had like one morning to do it. And we wrote all these lyrics. Yeah. And then they were, I had to wrap it into a phone yes. to send to her. They swore she would never hear it. They're like, it's just for management to get vibes. She fully listened. And <laughs> And then we and were then like, she was like, she showed up, yeah. She showed up the set and was like, you got bars. <laughs> yeah, she was, you got bars, young man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, two more questions. There's one there and then there. Yes. There were more than two takes per shot, <laughs> yeah. but not but many. She's like the often. legend. Yeah. He would usually yeah, let's do. The Zero takes a shot. <laughs> yes. Um, we would usually do like a pretty clean one. I mean, all the music obviously is not improvised, but we do a pretty clean one, and then you know, then a one for us. <laughs> and I would say with Malali, almost everyone's for us. You know what I mean? Yeah. Malali was the queen of like. There's that moment where she goes like, "I do not like when people live with," and holds for like 30 seconds. <laughs> That was in the script with just like some weird periods, and we were like, she was like, what do you want from this? We were like, we just what? think it's put weird emphasis on it, it'd be funny, yeah. and she's like, I got an idea. Nathan, I'm gonna hold for a long time, tap me on the shoulder before me. <laughs> that was all she did. Yeah. Gave no other like, option. So then afterwards she, she was like, well, I hope they liked it, because I didn't leg, do anything else but that. Her leg thing was hers, yeah. So yeah, there was a lot of um, riffing. Yeah. Yes, right over there, there was a question. You, oh, that you were oh, pointing that to that person. Question. Well, la last question, yes, you there? <laughs> Will you ever release the demo? Of no. <laughs> <laughs> you, you'd like it less. You'd like it a lot less. <laughs> it's so cheesy when I do it. Out, out for the out. Yeah. <laughs> Stacking my dollars, man. I'm going to get tripping in the back of my truck. You know. <laughs> Bankful, throbbing, swimming in cash. Scrooge, but if I can make that. You know, it's very, you know. <laughs> Put your hands together. Thank you for being here. Thank, thank, thank you for coming. Thank you, 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 thank you.